Welcome to the Gaming News for Monday, June 12, 2017. Tomb of Annihilation products announced for Dungeons & Dragons include the Tomb of Annihilation Tabletop RPG Adventure in game stores on September 8th. A Neverwinter expansion, Tomb of Annihilation to debut on PC June 25th and on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 soon after. In September 2017, Wizards of the Coast will release a Tomb of Annihilation dice set in a specially designed metal container embossed with the classic green devil face. Coming on July 26th, 2017, from WizKids is the new Icons of the Realm set of miniatures for Tomb of Annihilation, including a stone juggernaut, terra folk, and an incentive pack featuring the green devil face. Also, a brand new adventure system board game for Tomb of Annihilation that's compatible with all previous adventure system board games available September 2017. WizKids will release a set of for Dice Masters based on the storyline in September 2017. This fall, Gale Force 9 will be releasing three new unpainted figures for D&D Collector Series, including a stack of three Batiri Goblins and a Dinosaur Rider. A new Dungeon Masters screen created specifically by Gale Force 9 for the Tomb of Annihilation will be available this September. And finally, Tomb of Annihilation will be the first adventure for 5th edition D&D officially translated into multiple languages by Gale Force 9, available later this year. On June 24, 2017, Flux turns 21, and Fully Baked Ideas is celebrating by publishing Drinking Flux. With rules that are always changing, Drinking Flux will keep you on your toes and shake up any adult party. You've never played a drinking game like this before. It's fun, it's unpredictable, and its plastic cards are spill-proof. Drinking Flux will not be listed in the Looney Labs Family Games catalog. WizKids is excited to announce the upcoming release of the card game Fantasy Realms, designed by Bruce Glasgow. As a ruler of a faraway land, each player must create the best card combos by drawing and discarding cards to build the mightiest realm in the world. You might choose to build up a massive force with army cards to sweep all before you, or perhaps your kingdom will thrive in the mountains using cavern for shelter, or jungles for, prote for protection with land card combos. The choice is yours, for no two realms will ever be the same. Designed for three to six players, this combolicious card game allows players to choose to draw from the deck or discard pile to create the best hand possible. You can only have seven cards, so choose wisely as the game ends when there are ten cards in the discard area. It will be released to stores in August. The Shadow of Ball has come over Baldur's Gate, summoning with it a brand new board game from Dungeons and & Dragons and Avalon Hill. Based on the award-winning Betrayal at House on the Hill, Betrayal at Baldur's Gate gives fans the choice to build, explore, and hopefully survive in the iconic city. With design led by Mike Miros and the Wizards of the Coast team, players must work with their fellow adventurers to survive the deadly terrors and hideous threats that lurk in the shadows of this fearsome city. That is, until some horrific and evil turns one or more of them against each other, making it a race for survival. The 50 scenarios act like mini-campaigns and bring adventurers together to battle plenty of foes familiar to D&D fans and gamers. Some fun examples include contending against a sphere of annihilation hell-bent on destruction, a hungry slad devouring you from the inside, and a suddenly sprouted second head that wants to be in charge. Look for Betrayal at Baldur's Gate to be available October 6th. If you have a news item you'd like us to include in a future episode, please submit it to the gamers table at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.